Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil. We are close to the end. I'm going to bring this with me. I'm pretty sure there's one more zombie I need to deal with. Not that he'll be much of a problem, but I just want to get rid of him. Make sure he's completely gone. And this could be very well be this could very well be the last episode for the Chris run through because after this I'm gonna do it all over again with Jill. Just so we've got the full story. Okay, let's grab this. Mix of two green herbs. Lovely. It's locked. Oh yes, we need to do the computer puzzle first. <coughs> Grab these. Remember, all the message board catches your attention. There's something scored on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. X ray the photograph is posted on the wall. There's a name written Alex Bichette. Which one are you? Clark David. Gail Holland. David uh, Clark, you're up, rather. Which one are you? And you are Ed Fisher. Nope. Put you there. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of... Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log in, log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a roentgenogram, whatever the fuck that means. I know you I know you and I'm sure you'll be able to work out work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John, I've got something to tell you about Ada. She was probably leading you on the entire time just to get information. Right, we've got John and Ada as the passwords, but we need one more. Part of it is glowing. Glowing red. Glowing red. Glowing red. So, what have we got? Colon. Esophagus.
liver, lungs. S A L L cell. Put an elaborate puzzle. Oh, back to the computer we go. <coughs> John, Ada, I don't need the fanfare, whoops, sell. Unlocked and unlocked. There. And that's how you do that. Okay, so now we can go into that other room. Deal with the zombo in there. Computer room still red. You're not going to screw me again, game. I I will go and check. Ooh, more dum dum rounds, ink ribbons. This thing. Jesus. You done? Yes. What's this? A fax to sanitation division attention. Manager of sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. Well, somebody's getting fired because that didn't happen. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of, the, all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. This is a high there is a high possibility that most of these specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We, sus we suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Uh, that just shows shows where their priority lies. Damn corporations! But it just just go to show how the higher ups in Umbrella actually view their staff. They're not 
not concerned at all. Well, they're more concerned with their public image than the actual deaths. Let's go drop some shit off. I could probably ditch the hangar now and go back to the shotgun for a bit. Don't need you anymore, you can go. Take the Mo discs and you. <coughs> Excuse me. Disc. Excellent. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level 1. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorised persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. That's a tad extreme. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith uh, Irving, room manager. Prison sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorised. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the past codes, accessing the exclusive output, to output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary force fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T virus illegible hereafter. Cool. Alright, let's... Umbrella, Bio-Organic Weapon Official Report. Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Tyrant. Bio-Organic Weapons Research Group Development Staff. Wesker. No, it can't pass it. Oh, yeah, we all knew that, didn't we? 8462. I wonder what that's for. Oh, I just, I just noticed. Shotties! Alright, I'm going to grab you and use you. I've got plenty of first aid spray, so it doesn't matter at this point. Eight, four, six, two. A secret room. Well, not so secret. There's a great big bloody window there. What are you want about Sigma? And what do we have here? Some sort of image e editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Yes, why not? Oh, 
called Kenneth. Okay. <coughs> That's Bravo team basically wiped out. <coughs> God damn. Really? I missed something in here? What could possibly be left? I grabbed all the things, haven't I? Map of the laboratory. Are you for serious, sir? How did I forget that? <sighs> I are the dumb. Alright. Now we can carry on. Do that. Discard the key? Yes. <coughs> God damn it. I see shotties. Gimme. little shit Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yeah, you get down, you little shit. Hey, what am I missing in here now? Ah, this is sorry. shiny grenade. Thank you. <coughs> we done in here? Yes. <coughs> right. What have I missed in this room? Have I, have I had like a complete brain fart to miss something obvious? Seeing any shinies? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. There's a green herb inside. A single green herb. Why, thank you very much. Are we done in here now? Cheers. As we're so close to the end, I might extend this episode just so we can tie off the story nicely.
think that's a good idea, don't you? First aid spray, thank you. And more shotty shells and more magnum bullets. How very generous, thank you very much. Grab these. Those two. Ink ribbons. Good. God damn hay fever, I hate it so much. Right, here comes the tedious bit. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. I'll have a nitro martini, shaken not jarred. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there is no fuel. There's an empty capsule. I will take it. Avoid the ventilations for now. I'm pretty sure uh, they don't come through the vents till after you activate the self destruct system, but I don't feel like testing that theory. Get rid of the shotgun so I'm not tempted to use it. ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. So we've got to walk. Thankfully Chris has quite a quite a quick walk unlike Jill. Jill takes a lot longer. Look at that swagger. Chris gives no F's. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, Chris. You just carry on like you're walking down to the shops. Never mind that you're carrying a potential explosion in your back pocket. There goes your perfectly sculpted ass. One good sneeze and it's over, Chris. And considering I've been coughing and sneezing like a bitch lately, you might you might not be so uh, nonchalant about it. You can fuck off. I think it also goes off if you stand next to that open flame too too long. A fuel supply device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Set the capsule into place. Nah, let's keep it. I enjoy carrying a potential bomb in my underpants.
How dare you. Yep, we know what that's doing. Give me the grenade, please. Thank you. Not today, freaks. Not today. Chris Badass Redfield is on the case. Bring it on, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Total destruction. Kill everything. Uh, we'll ignore the rest of you now. Go do the last passcode. Say hi to Jill. And then we'll go in. See the tyrant. Let's pop in here first quickly. So we don't have to worry about what's coming next. Ditch these. Take these. I'm ready for you, tyrant. Yeah, it is when the system goes off, that's fine then. Wasn't didn't want to quite test that theory out. Because I, I always go around that back route just in case. But now I know. One thing I, will, I, I would say is a massive improvement in the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes is the lack of loading screens. I mean, I, I love the whole opening going through the door thing. But, uh... After being spoilt with no loading screens in RE2 and 3 remakes. It's uh, It's not something I'm sorry to see go from the series, let's put it that way. Well, hold on, let's go say hi to Jill first. Pull all these levers, because that's always fun. I remember this music. Hey, Jill. Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. 
Yay, Jill's alive. There's kind of a pointless endeavour coming this way, but there. Sure, we all needed that reassurance. It's not like we see Jill in Resident Evil 3, so there's no possible way she could have survived this incident. Although it depends on which ending you go for. Alright. Enough tomfoolery. Let's go end this. This madness. Okay, what was that about? Press the switch. Chris! Hey, Becca. Rebecca! I saw you in the... in her garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. <laughs> That's my plan, sir. Plot twist. Rebecca is behind the whole thing. Ooh, shotty shells. Don't need them, but I'll take them. Not going to question how you survived the Lisa Trevor thing, mate. I'm just going to accept it. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. Thanks. Pretty sure there's meant to be music playing. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Yeah, it's glitched. There's no music playing. Oh, he's pretty. I have to question the sanity of these scientists who create these abominations and go, this is the ultimate life form. It's like, really? Its heart is exposed. It's a fantastic bit of design, though. Tyrant. <laughs> See, Wester, Chris. You've become senile. See, Chris gets it. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. How? Bye, Wesker. Hi. Who does your hair? Test tube freak. Nope. Good, that's him dealt with. And that's why I love the Magnum. 
my favourite weapon in any Resident Evil game is always the Magnum. What a pathetic way to die. I agree. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the progenitor virus. Of the... What? Primogenitor virus. Alright then. The prototype parasite which had delivered from which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me, but everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Though further modification and through further modification and testing, I was able to de derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of, BOW, of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. I love this. We get references to parasites, uh, maybe a hint towards the Las Plagas in Resident Evil 4, and we've got a we've got a mention of Alexia from Code Veronica, and we, and we've seen William Birkin already working on the G virus. I, I love this note; it's one of my favourites. You still dead, Wesker? Yeah, he's still dead. Should probably reload. Hey Rebecca, you still sleeping on the job? <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Maybe Wesker purposely shot her in the in the bulletproof vest because she, as I said, she's in on the whole scheme. She's not, but it's an interesting... Would make an interesting twist. Although I don't, don't think it'll go down well with fans because uh, Rebecca's quite popular. Not one of my personal favourite characters, but she's got her fan base. Unfortunately, after this game, we never see Rebecca again until Resident Evil Vendetta. One of the uh, CGI movies that Capcom made. What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. And now she wants to destroy all the evidence. The plot, like my custard, thickens. We'll go this way. Let's go and grab Jill. Ah, shit. Go grab Jill and then we can head to the roof and be done with this madness. Hey Jill, go on. Enough lollygagging. We gotta go. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. All right. Now the now the gang's all together again. It's Mosey. Let's 
get going. Right behind you. I'm gonna save one more time, just in the off chance, just in the off chance my overconfidence lets me down. Because uh, that's definitely a thing that can happen. missing there. Oh screw it, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm not going all the way back. Alright. Ditch the shotgun shells. Grab one of these, get my health back up to full. Green herb. There we go. We're coming. It's a weird looking battery. Three minutes to detonation. The self destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the Thanks. I had no idea. Those things are coming. <laughs> I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Three minutes is an oddly specific number. Oh, I didn't. I didn't save, did I? Shit. <laughs> uh, I can only hope it goes as intended then, because we are a long way off from this spot. Hey, ladies. You don't look it, you're holding your arm. Chill! That means reload, Rebecca. Cheers, Brad. <laughs> Victory, bitch. I wasn't worried. I knew that was going to go that way the whole time. And you can't prove otherwise. 
Hey Brad, nice of you to show up. And... Farewell Spencer Mansion. It's been a blast. I are the funny. Man, I love this game. Hey, Rebecca. This is the game I always would recommend this version for anyone who wants to get into the Resident Evil series. This is the game to start off from, because you're getting the full experience of the original Resident Evil 1 and a whole bunch of extras. Okay, well that brings... The Chris side of the story to a close. We shall be resuming again soon with Jill Valentine. Chris, you did a fine job. Eh, not too bad. A new costume has been unlocked. Yay! Overwrite that. There we go. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.